Alright, today we're going to be doing a money-making guide, and this will be covering the early to mid-game. So my first tip is you want some kind of net gun. Now, it doesn't have to be... It could even be this net gun, where you just get two, four rope, two scrap iron, and a hundred gold. Though that's not the best net gun, it will do for the purposes of what we're doing here today. And if you have unlocked upgrades, then you can unlock, up, upgrade it as well. Uh, you probably... If you're in the early game, you probably won't have access to the steel net gun, but that's okay. Like, you don't need it for this method. So, you know, take any net gun. And the next thing is you'll want to... You'll want to have unlocked Otto and his fish farm. When you're at the fish farm, you want this area, the 50 to 130 meters area, to be as big as possible. Because you're going to want to store a lot of fish in there for this. Uh, it also helps to have this first area open, but it's mainly about the 130 meters depth one at this point. Now you have to unlock Otto for a story quest, but that's okay, because it's quite early on. And what you'll be looking for after that is you want to look for the Michael Bang VIP event. And basically what you want to do is you want to be making this dish. That, this dish is unlocked from the Michael Bang VIP event, and it has some relatively easy ingredients to get. So, the first step would be... I mean, you know, I'll show you where to find these fish. Because you definitely want to enhance it to as high a level as possible, and the last level of enhancement is going to take a lot. It's going to take like 153 of each kind of fish. So... Keep that in mind. But... That said, the lower levels of it shouldn't be too hard to level up and you'll start building up money real quick with that. We'll better feed the cat. But the main thing is, you're aiming for this fish and that fish. Basically, just need to dive down and get the fish. So I'll show you that now. It's also worth collecting any of these plants that you see where you can knife the plants and then get their cuttings. Because those will really help you level up some more complex dishes. Seaweed isn't that good, but we'll take it anyway. Those you won't unlock till later anyway. And if you haven't already unlocked them, you'll unlock all the stuff that I'm talking about anyway. Now these guys I would just steal net gun them, but you probably won't have that unlocked, so for you, you just want to harpoon them, it's fine. Those things attack you anyway, so you're sure to run across plenty of them. Just make sure to collect them if you can. Right, now this area is the area you want to be going, down here. I'm collecting these for a different reason, so... I ignore that, but... That is something to keep in mind. For later. Yeah, right now we're just looking for... Those red and green fish. Yeah, those are, there's the green fish that you want. So basically what you want to do with your net gun is you want to only just scare the fish and then slow-mo with your net gun to get them like that. Now, the red fish might not be spawning right now, but they do spawn in this area. 
so it might take multiple dives to get the fish you need, but the idea is you want to stock up on as many of them as possible, and then when you have the fish farm unlocked, the second space, you want to fill up that with as many of them as possible. When I was initially doing it, I had 30 of each in there, and that was a lot, but it really did work out. So, oh yeah, there's, there's a coral trout that, that I'm going to want. Boom. All three in one net. And that would probably even work with a smaller net, which is quite a bit smaller. But yeah, yeah you basically just want to look for the... It's strange to see him on his own, but... Yeah, you basically just want to look for those fish. And collect them. That's really all there is to it. I'll probably cut back up to the surface now. Okay, you want to hunt around all avenues of this area. So, like, you know, you come down one side and go up the other side. Like, you don't want to be missing out on it. I need to find some ammo. There's some ammo. Yeah, basically, to unlock what, all you need for this, you have to complete the, a noisy customer submission, where you unlock Otto and his stuff, then get Otto's gift mission done. At that point, you have the fish farm. The next thing you'll need to do is go through Gourmet Vincent's challenge, get that done. The next thing you'll have is Michael Bang's inspiration. And as you can see, that's the dish I was talking about. So at that point, that's when you unlock it. Now you'll need to have Otto unlocked for this because he'll send you... When you do the Michael Bang mission, he will make a farm for you. And this is what the farm is kind of like. Your rice farm will not be this big. It will only be like... um. 3x3 three three to start off with. Not this 5x5 five five configuration I have. But you can upgrade it through auto later. That's how you get stuff to the size I have it by paying auto with the gold. And you'll have tons of gold after this, so. Hey, okay, this is way till your rice has grown. Harvest your rice. You can check out my first video I made if you want more rice in less time. Although that's methods not really that great. My second video covers a bit more about how to just guarantee high yields. Basically at that point, you know, you serve Michael Bang his dish. And at that point, it's all good. That'll start regrowing in the evening. And you will have unlocked this. At which point you'll be able to enhance it quite a few times. Now it is quite rice hungry, but that's okay. Earlier on as well, you probably have unlocked this. Which if you get some more ray eels in your fish farm, it will be actually quite alright. Because you can just then keep producing a bunch of these. This isn't that great money, but all the ingredients that you have access to at the time, it would be pretty good. There's also this dish, which might be alright if you can get enough of the resources for it. The small spotted darts are quite rare on the surface. This is also a good dish for early game because all you need is the puffer fish, the agar, which you can see like me cutting in the surface on the video, and soy sauce. I might be wondering, okay, how do I get all this extra stuff like, you know, the soy sauce, the turmeric and all that? What you want to do, do you want to have staff dispatching 
Now, basically, the way to dispatch staff and get them doing this is basically you need to have extra staff in your waiting room. At which point you'll have like a little drop down menu where you press space on them and you have all kinds of options like training. And one of them will be called dispatch. And you hit dispatch and it will come up with a list of like these seasonings you unlocked. Now, if you have like access to more eel curry, you'll be able to send them out for turmeric. Soy sauce is like one of the most earliest and most used seasonings there is. So again, you can send them out for that. And yeah, basically that's, that's all there is to it. Like, you know, you just keep sending these guys out every day. Yeah, you have to pay them, but that's not a big issue. And they will bring back seasonings. And those seasonings will work well with, well, these dishes. Yeah, the main thing you want to focus on is stocking up on all the stuff you need to get that to like not necessarily level 10 although level 10 is the best but you know at least level six seven eight or nine because then you'll have quite a lot of servings quite a lot of like money from the servings you know, it's a good dish to start out with. But then you have the issue of what else do you serve alongside it? Well, depending on where you are at, but right, you know, as long as you sell a few of the, like, just sell one, one set of this a night, you don't have to go overboard with it. You know, as long as you slap it on, you'll have enough for all kinds of expenses. Because as you do the restaurant, there is an expense at night. I can probably show you my management app. So I have the highest of high expense. Yeah, like my expenditure is 11,000, but yours will not be that high because the 11,000 expenditure comes from being Diamond Frank and having all staff employed at level 20. Like, so they ain't gonna be happening. But with um, the Platinum rank, you might have an expense around 2,000, 3,000, maybe even 4,000-ish, depending on how much staff you have. And if you're at diamond rank, it's a flat 4,000 plus staff cost, so you really want to be careful. But with that dish here that I just looked at, mass adds up, but you know, 4,000 is nothing to this dish. You serve it once, it does nine servings. Each serving does by max level. So, you know, if you're a bit under max level, I only do like seven and eight servings. There'll still be like around a thousand-ish gold for each serving, so you know this will really cover your expenses if you just serve this every night now you gotta be aware of how many customers are coming but as long as you do that you'll be fine see the issue with a bunch of these other dishes is they're way too advanced for the early game but that would be a good one if pelican eels weren't so late in the game And again, it's just like, all of these are looking like, well... They're not exactly accessible early on. But they're really not, nah. Yeah, that's the main thing about the early game money making. You want to be focused on netting up the coral trouts and harlequin hinds, getting as many of them as possible, getting them into your fish farm, keeping a high population of them in your fish farm so they breed like crazy, and just harvesting rice and upgrading this dish. Yeah, that's about it for this money making guide. I hope it's been helpful. Hope you have a good day.